So let, let's talk about what's new on the software side of things. So obviously we're looking at the T-Mobile version again. Um, and let's start off really with just the lock screen. So at the lock screen obviously we have these these buttons down here. Um, and what we can do is drag them into the center to launch the application. So like if I come back here, um, I can quickly launch camera for example just by quickly dragging into the ring. Um, and that's that's a really nice way of just, you know, reducing some of the friction to get into the most frequented applications. Um, and you can change these, you know, manually if you like, uh, to basically whatever you want. And by default, they're sort of the same thing, uh, except I believe they have mail instead of Gmail. Um, so the other the other component of the lock screen is that you have sort of a custom uh, background. So in, in this example, I'm using weather. Uh, so I get I get sort of an animation when I turn on the phone and the weather report. There are other ones as well. If you go into personalize. So if you come over here into personalize, we can change all the things pertaining to the lock screen just through lock screen. So for example, right here, you know, there are selections. There are things like, um, of course, just a wallpaper, uh, photo album, friend stream, weather, stocks, uh, more clocks if you really want, in addition to the digital clock at the top, an actual analog clock. But if I come back here for ex to weather, I'm going to tap settings. Uh, or we do that, you can just change any of these by tapping on them and then you get a list of all your applications that you can you know put them in there like if I want to run benchmark pi every time that I launch it instead of messages that's fine. So I think that's an interesting new concept. Um, so something I see everybody do as soon as they actually pick up the phone is uh, do this ring animation so obviously the new home screen thing is sort of continuous uh, and this reminds me very much of Compass. Um, if you're familiar with Ubuntu and Compass Fusion uh, this is essentially the cube switcher but just you know like HTC saw it and decided they wanted to add it to Sense. Um, and then uh, another small thing is that you can now rearrange all these home screens so if you zoom out long press you know you can reorder these so if I want this one over here you know done uh, this one over here just long tap move over done uh, so that's that's another small thing. Um, kind of a, a big thing that everybody does in custom ROMs that they're finally implementing is quick settings. So you know, and it doesn't in this in this implementation actually take up your notification area. So up at the top you have a list of the applications we've recently launched, um, and if I add more of them, you can drag back and forth. Uh, and if you come down to quick settings, uh, you can do things like toggle Wi-Fi, the hotspot, mobile network, um, Bluetooth, GPS. Uh, and then quickly dive into a task manager. So I mean, it would be nice to see, you know, the option, for example, you know, change screen brightness or like airplane mode here. Um, but you know, obviously, those might be things that are going to come with HTC Dev, uh, etc. But if you go into, for example, their task manager, it's actually pretty nice. You get a list of the applications that are open, how much memory they're using, uh, and you can close them, you know, just from here, uh, pretty easily. So, I mean, that's just sort of a small thing. If you already have a task manager, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the huge clock widget, that's got some changes. There's a nice weather uh, thing that pops up now. Uh, you can dive further inside uh, and sort of get, you know, like a view with uh, additional information about now. Uh, I think the hourly view is kind of cool. You can get a graph of temperature. So you can see it's going to be like 107 tomorrow. Uh, tap on five day you know it's sort of self-explanatory but it's just you know a small thing that's gotten an enhancement uh, compared to where things were with the uh, HTC Sense 2.0 um, now there, next is the launcher so on the launcher now you have these three things at the bottom uh, of course favorites I mean frequency so based on the frequency of when you uh, tap on things here they'll be populated and sorted by the frequency uh, and downloaded uh, so just three different views uh, and of course you can sort them different ways you know by um, date, alphabetical uh, and date the other way so those are pretty self-explanatory um, next thing up is that HTC has sort of made their own uh, swipe keyboard so if you if you bring up the keyboard, of course this is HTC's default IME keyboard uh, which you know for a while everybody was a huge fan of now I think the gingerbread keyboard is a little bit better 
Uh, at least that's become my my personal favorite. But if you want to use the HTC keyboard, which is you know gotten its own change, uh, you can now basically swipe. So it literally just works like swipe. And and D T C H. Um, of course, it doesn't really know an on tech, uh, but of course you can still you know you know touch type as well, and and that works. Um, but yeah, there's they call it trace. If you come in here in settings. Uh, input and keyboards, input language and keyboard, touch input, you can see that they call it trace, trace keyboard. Um, but yeah, it works effectively just like um, swipe. 